Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be testing the new e.l.f. concealer. I have used it before, but it was an Instagram video, so I wasn't really like paying attention to coverage and how it dried on my face. I was just doing like a tutorial. Um, and also I went to their event and I got the um, foundations as well. This is the Flawless Finish Foundation. I don't think this is new, but I feel like they have maybe extended their foundation range because I don't remember e.l.f. having this many shades. So I picked up these four right here and and they are gifted to me by the way um, I didn't buy these myself but of course all opinions are my own and this is not sponsored but um yeah these are not even the darkest shades they had like a few shades darker as well so these are just the ones that I thought would suit my skin tone so starting with this one I'm gonna swatch them on my chest for you guys actually before I go ahead and swatch let me tell you guys what they claim about the foundation so it doesn't say how many shades on the website that they have but it does like as I'm scrolling across the website it does look like they have a loads of shades to choose from i'm guessing maybe 25 but that's just a guess so it retails for seven pound 50 i believe it is available at super drug stores as well so it says flawless finish foundation is our best-selling liquid foundation the lightweight oil-free formula blends naturally into skin for a beautiful semi-matte finish that lasts all day long the liquid formulation restores uneven skin textures textures and uh, tones for visibly brighter skin so it says it's lightweight oil free and a beautiful semi matte finish so I'm hoping it has a little bit of coverage because I like coverage I do like the sound of semi matte um so yeah let's just go in and see how it is so to prime my face I'm gonna go with the elf poreless face primer just because it's an elf foundation I'm assuming it will work good with an elf primer and I'm gonna put this on my t-zone this is a very like slippery type of primer, almost like a silicone-y primer. So we're starting with maple, like I said, and we're gonna swatch that one here. So that is quite a yellowy olive undertone. It is described, like I said, tan with golden olive undertones. Also, when I was at the event, the lady did say they dry down darker than how they appear and how they look in the bottle. And I'm glad they say that kind of off the bat so you know what to expect. So the next shade is Latte and this is described as deep with olive undertones. I'm thinking this one might be me. Yeah, that looks really nice. The next one we have is cinnamon and it's described as deep with golden undertones. So that is cinnamon and that's actually pretty good as well but it's very warm for me so I do still prefer that one. And then the last shade I have is nutmeg and this is described as a deep with peachy undertones. So let's do that one yeah that one's a bit too deep for me yeah those are the shades that I have like I said these are not the darkest shades they do have deeper and darker richer tones which is amazing okay so I've decided to go in with the shade latte and if it does turn out to dry down darker than I thought then I would go in with a little bit of maple as well but we're gonna start with this one I'm gonna pump it straight onto my face actually I'm gonna pump it onto my finger just to make sure because some of the pumps like you'll get nothing and then some Hello. <coughs> What's going on? Okay, yeah, we're getting some. I'm gonna start with about that much. How much was that? One pump, one and a half pumps, and okay, so three pumps all together. Okay, so I've got this brush from Tarte, and I'm just gonna begin buffing that in. Okay, so that pump didn't spread too far definitely want more coverage than that that's very very light coverage well it is it did say it was lightweight on the website so it didn't mention full oh oh it has a scent to it it didn't mention full coverage on the website so i'm not gonna hold that against them but i do want more coverage than that i mean that's even my skin tone but it hasn't covered my scarring I actually do quite like the smell but maybe if you have sensitive skin I do kind of have sensitive skin like I did have a reaction to the Huda Beauty primer because of that smell but I'm hoping this one won't bug me too much so I'm gonna take two more pumps and just spread that across my face and try build it I'm gonna stamp it in this time rather than wipe it in wipe it <laughs> blend it in I'm gonna stamp it in that coverage it's definitely buildable that's so much better to me I mean, it's still not full coverage. It's more like medium because I can still see like a shadow of the scars, but definitely better on the second layer. And this is actually my first time trying this foundation. So this is like a proper first impression. So I'm going to try to do a wear test today as well because it is Valentine's Day today. So I'm going to go out and, you know, get some lunch with my bae and 
see how it wears that coverage is so much better it's still not full like i said i can still see a little bit of my scarring but i really like the finish of this it is quite flawless and quite skin like um it hasn't dried down super matte but it's not super glowy either which i do really like uh, demi mattes are really nice i'm gonna carry that down my neck as well it's a pretty good color for me as well i really like this color maybe if you wanted full coverage you would have to go in with another layer and i don't think i want to do three layers of foundation so i would rather do two layers like this and then go in with a little bit of the concealer and just build up the areas that i feel needs building but so far i really like how it sits on the skin it looks really nice and flawless i hope you guys can see that it's really natural actually okay so what i'm gonna do is let the foundation sit for a little bit while i do my eyeshadow then we'll come back and see how it's settled into the skin and then we'll move on to testing their new concealers um so yeah i'll be back okay guys so i've gone ahead and done my eyeshadow and put some lashes on now we're going to move on to the concealer so i'm going to do the swatches on my chest once again and then we'll go ahead and apply it underneath the eyes as for the foundation i feel like it's still looking exactly the same um i did get a little bit of fallout underneath my eyes so i had to like tap underneath it with my foundation brush and i feel like it looks really flawless on the skin it is sitting really nicely the coverage i would personally prefer it to be a bit more but for seven pound fifty i'm really not complaining i could you know just put concealer where it's needed so in the pr box they did have it kind of split up into categories they had fair light medium tan deep and rich i believe so the ones that i've taken out and i think will be the closest to my skin tone are deep and rich i do also have one of the tan shades and this is tan sand but it's really really light but it is a yellow undertone so we'll see if i need to use it so the first one in the deep section is deep olive and this is literally like a yellowy olive undertone and i'll swatch that there for you so that one is really really yellowy toned then we have deep chestnut which is more neutral toned let's swatch that there then the next one we have is deep cinnamon so this is the last one in the deep section and this one actually looks really really orange so those are all of the deep now we're moving on to rich so the first one is rich chocolate so that one looks like a neutral undertone then we have rich cocoa and this one looks like a pink undertone and then last but not least we have rich ebony which is the darkest shade in the concealer so this one is definitely a warm undertone so those are all of the shades for the darker skin um some of them are a little bit iffy for example this one right here is really pink but it looks really gray as well so it's like a gray pink tone i don't know who's that color but for my skin tone over here i would prefer something more neutral rather than you know this one's really pink this one looks okay but it's still really kind of orange and then this one's really yellow but i'm definitely not mad at the shade it's just some of them are a little bit off um i do feel like i'm gonna go with this shade here but it might be a bit too yellow so i might need to mix it with this shade which is tan sand and this one's really light so yeah this one's really light i'm gonna start with deep olive and then if it is a bit too deep i'm gonna go in with this one on top to brighten it first of all i love the doe foot i love big doe foots i feel like it just applies the concealer so much like smoother and quicker so i do love the packaging um so let's go ahead with deep olive underneath my eyes yeah it's like so yellowy some people really love that but for me i prefer I do like this shade I just wish it wasn't so yellow like a, a little bit more neutral was added to it then it would be perfect but yeah actually what I'm gonna do as well is take a little bit of deep chestnut and use that to try cover is it this one I think it's this one use this one to try cover like dark spots where I still have a little bit of scarring showing through and also around my mouth so I'm going to blend these ones in with my foundation brush. I'm literally just going to stamp it in. Yeah, the coverage on that is so much better. It's definitely more co more coverage than the foundation because I can't see my scars anymore, which is amazing. And the shade's pretty nice for me as well. So that was um, Deep Chestnut on my face. Yeah, I like that as a face concealer. It's blended in super easy, really nice, really full coverage as well. I'm happy with that. So now we're going to go in with a sponge and blend the deep olive 
so on my chin that's blended really nice and the shade does look really nice as well I feel like it blends really easy do you know what sometimes I look back when I'm editing I'm like why are you being so rough around your eyes but honestly I'm pressing so lightly um, it just looks rough <laughs> I promise okay so the coverage on that is actually really nice and the shade has blended in beautifully it's definitely not too yellow once you blend it out I still would prefer something a little bit more brightening uh, just personally but it does blend out really nice and easy okay you know what I think I really like these concealers so far anyway I just want a little bit more brightness underneath my eyes so I think I'm gonna take that tan shade just a small amount to just brighten here and down my nose and I'm gonna blend that in Ooh, yes now we're talking definitely very full coverage like whoa it actually looks so flawless on the skin it, even though i've gone in with two um concealers it doesn't look cakey on my face at all however i must say i'm not sure how that tan shade would have looked by itself but mixed with the olive shade that i used first beautiful i love the combination and the concealer does dry down i can definitely feel it is drying on my face but not tight or bad it's just as i'm tapping over it i can definitely feel that it's drying on my face and it's like dried down do you know what i mean and as i turn my face i think you guys can see there's literally no shine to my face at all which i really like because i do have oily skin if you have dry skin you might not even want to set this concealer because it it has dried down and set by itself so i'm going to take some of my laura mercier setting translucent powder and i'm not going to bake or anything i'm literally just going to take some of that powder onto a brush because this concealer has dried down by itself I don't want to over set it and then you know it gets super dry and cakey underneath my eyes so I'm just taking a light layer of that and setting okay elf now for the rest of my face I'm going to take the revolution matte base powder in the shade p11 which looks like that and these powders do apply a little bit darker than how they look in the thing so just be careful when you're picking your shade so i'm going to go in with the revolution matte base powder again but this one is p14 and i'm going to use this as a bronzer been loving this as a bronzer recently bronzer slash contour i mean the shade is a little bit cool to be a bronzer but i like it i really like how everything is sitting on my face it looks really flawless oh i've gone a bit crazy with that contour <laughs> So I'm going to set my face with my Mario Badescu spray as usual. Now I'm going to do my lower lash line, put some lipstick on and I'll come back to show you guys my final look before we do the wear test. Okay guys and I'm back. So here we have the final look and like I said before, I'm just loving the way everything is sitting on my face, especially since I've put the setting spray on. It's just settled everything into my face and it honestly looks like skin, but like full coverage skin if that makes sense. The foundation is definitely medium coverage. Like I said, you can build it up to a medium coverage, but the concealer just tops it up even more so you know dabbing that concealer on top of the foundation has really helped cover all of my scarring and all of that good stuff but without being cakey like it doesn't look cakey on my face at all it looks really flawless it just looks really nice guys i think i look really cute so i'm gonna go about my day now and i'll come back oh yeah i started my face at 10 30 this morning it is now 12 on the dot so so let's just say the foundation's been on since like 11 this morning and yeah i'll catch you guys later with an update okay girly so it is now 4 59 so basically 5 p.m i've gone out i've had a lovely lunch at tgi my favorite restaurant ever i also picked up the twins from school and now i'm back home i'm gonna enjoy some movies and all of that good stuff but i wanted to check in with you guys before i you know started my movie so this is what we are looking like basically i started at 11 so let's say six hours in this is what we're looking like i mean it looks really nice on my skin it is a little bit oily but not bad i think it's got a nice healthy sheen to it um if i saw this while i was out i still wouldn't blot but what i would do is blot this area here because i don't really like having a shiny bit in between my brow i just don't like that i don't mind the little bit of dew right here because it almost looks like a natural highlight um and also on my chin is a little bit oily but 
it's not bad and the coverage is definitely still there the concealer is creasing slightly underneath my eyes but it's not bad it's not like deep set or anything like that um i think it still looks pretty good six hours in my nose is quite oily i would definitely blot a little bit on there i'm a bit torn whether i should touch up or if i shouldn't i'm gonna touch up the area in between my brows and a little bit on my chin so I'm going to take the Revolution Bake and Blot Powder. This is the shade Banana Deep. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just dab this area here. Because like I said, I don't like to be oily here. Yeah, that's better. And also on my chin and a little bit on my nose. See, that already looks so much better to me. So I'm going to keep wearing this probably for like an hour or two more. Um, you know that feeling when you're watching a movie, you just want to like, you know, be able to touch your face. So I'm going to go enjoy. Do you guys watch Grimm? I know it ended, but I started watching it on Netflix recently and I am obsessed. I love Grimm. So I'm going to go watch a few episodes of Grimm and then I'll come back and tell you guys my final thoughts on the foundation and concealer. <laughs> Okay guys and I'm back so it is now 8.08 .08 in the evening and this is how we are looking. I mean I'm definitely more oily than how I left you guys at 5 o'clock so I'm glad I did that touch up at 5 because if I would have not touched up all day I feel like this would be even more oily. I feel like from far the foundation doesn't look too bad like looking in my mirror down there it doesn't look bad at all but when you get up close and personal you kind of see the separation and like where the oils have come through the foundation is starting to break up and remove itself and also I've lost a little bit of coverage down here from where I've been like leaning on my face I would say this foundation definitely lasted a good six to seven hours and it looked flawless it didn't separate the coverage was still there but once it kind of passed that mark it was kind of starting to look a bit iffy so like around my nose it has started to like gather into patches and like some bits have foundation and some bits don't if that makes sense so it's not looking too great especially on my nose like you can definitely see patches of foundation have completely come off but that is kind of my fault i suppose because i touched my face so it's not transfer tra tra but <laughs> it's not transfer proof it definitely does you know come off of the face but for £7.50 guys, I would say it's a very good foundation if you're doing maybe like a six hour day, you're not going out for like 12 hours or anything crazy like that, then this is a good foundation, it's a good everyday foundation, the coverage was medium like I said, um, the concealer I feel like is very similar to the foundation in terms of it looked really good, um, you know, six, seven hours into the day, but right now it is just looking creasy and a bit cakey underneath my eyes, so um, I won't say it's my go-to for a very long Long days if I know I'm gonna have a very long day from morning till night I don't feel like I'll be reaching for this one um, my beauty blender foundations a bit more long wearing my Maybelline Superstay is more long wearing than this one so those are the ones that I tend to gravitate to to um to walk through get the words out it's really late and I'm trying to get my thoughts together those are the ones that I tend to gravitate towards if I'm gonna have a long day um this one I can definitely see myself filming with I can definitely see myself doing errands with it's a very cute foundation that I can use again and I will use it again but it's just not very long wearing in terms of I've had it for nine hours now and it definitely is starting to like break up around my mouth and around my nose and stuff not terribly it doesn't look so bad like I said from far it looks okay like like I look decent but when you get up close you can definitely see like patches of foundation yeah I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide how you like this foundation definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and I'll catch you guys in my next video take care bye